Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in social media marketing, we'll discuss an important chapter called how to build a social media marketing plan. A social media marketing plan that becomes the basis of your social media marketing campaign. What are the key elements? How you need to go about? What are the strategies that you can implement? Let us check them out. The basics, the fundamental factors. Understanding of the business is at the heart of the entire social media marketing plan. What you need to do is if you are a social media marketing professional and if you have a customer who wants a social media marketing campaign to be executed, it is extremely important for you to understand their business. Understanding of their business thoroughly, completely, comprehensively is extremely important. The more you understand, the better the plan you can create. So understand the business completely. Marketing analysis, you need to have a thorough, complete analysis of the market in terms of this business, in terms of what they are into, in terms of how they are selling, where they are selling, the demographics, the geographies, this need to be analyzed thoroughly. Then of course you need to analyze the competition that exists out there in the market. Who are the competitors, where they are selling, their demography, their geography, their social media pages, how they are posting, what is the content that they are posting, that need to be analyzed. So market analysis is extremely important after you understand the business. Then content channel and optimization. You need to understand what is this business, what kind of competition that exists and what are the right and appropriate channels for this business for the social media marketing campaign. You need to understand the channel, then you need to kind of create the targeted content understanding the geographics and the demographics of the customers then optimize those pages so these are basically the basics of creating a social media marketing plan how to get started the first and foremost point is the auditing extremely important you need to have a thorough understanding of the business what are the areas that you need to focus on what are the issues concerns and challenges if there are any on their website on their blog or the landing pages the areas that you need to implement their social media presence how the social media presence is working out looking like what are the areas that you need to do you have to have a thorough complete auditing of the existing scenario of the business in terms of the website in terms of the social media presence then of course the goal you need to ask your customer what is that you want to achieve do you want to achieve certain users you want to sell some products or you want to have customer download some products from you what are the goals and the objectives of the social media marketing campaign that need to be understood completely then the metrics and the measurements what is that you want to achieve at what period of time say in the next month this is what i want in the next month i want say about 2000 likes in the next one month i want to say i want to sell 100 products what are the metrics and measurements the key performance indicators the key result areas that need to be analyzed draw inspiration find out what is that you can do how you can do what are the competitors doing how they are doing draw inspiration from them so that you can get a better idea how you can go about doing your own campaign then optimize the pages optimize the entire information in terms of the website in terms of the social media presence the optimization plays a very important role as far as the user experience and the user interface is concerned and this is how you can start your marketing plan finally the plan how it should look like what is that select channels there are lot many social media platforms and channels are available identify which are the best suited for the kind of business they are into and the campaign that you want to execute curate content the content is what actually going to engage with you with the users the content has to be top class it has to be original it has to be inspirational it has to be motivating it has to generate curiosity extremely important so curate that kind of content and schedule a calendar just because you have a calendar don't go on posting randomly that is not going to work you need to have a content calendar in place 
you need to know exactly on Facebook when I want to post, how much I want to post, and what date and what day I have to post. Similarly, for Twitter, for LinkedIn, for Pinterest, for Instagram, and other channels that you have selected. Then you go and break down the goals. All the goals that you have as far as your customer's business is concerned, break down the goals into weekly or monthly or quarterly. Break down the goals and try to achieve those goals. Listen and participate. The more the users are coming to your social media pages, the more you listen to them, the more you will be un understand their issues, concerns and challenges. The more you understand them, the more you will be able to offer them the right fit solution. And participation is extremely important. Then you talk about the engagement. Engagement plays a very important role. Interaction, communication and engagement are the founding pillars of a good social media marketing plan or execution. So the more you engage with the users, the more you will be able to understand them. The more you will be able to understand them, the more you will be able to provide them the right kind of solution. On the insights, the insights are the analytical information which is the backbone of the entire social media marketing campaign. You have a plan, a social media plan, you are executing the social media plan, there is an engagement happening, there is conversion happening, the leads are generated, that is all fine, that is appearing on the screen. But what is important for you as a social media marketing professional is that you have to analyze the information, analyze the kind of traffic that is coming, understand the users, the user behavior, the engagement and that is possible through the analytics or through the insights. You, you call it insights or the analytics, it means the same because some Facebook calls it insights, Twitter calls it analytics, that is all fine. The analytical information or the insights play a very important role in analyzing the success of your social media marketing campaign. The more you understand the user behavior, you will be in a much better position to optimize your social media pages, tweak your content, drive more and more conversions and leads. So analytical information is an extremely an integral part of your show, overall social media marketing campaign. Leverage influencers. The influencers, the subject matter experts or the experts on different subjects play a very important role in shaping the mindset of the users, in influencing the users because the users generally on social media or online, they listen to what the experts are saying before they actually go on buying a particular product. They review the, read the reviews of the influencers before buying a product. So influence the users, leverage the users, talk to them and have them on board to make sure that you know the influencers play a very important role in driving conversions for you. Then of course the conversion. When all this happens, then the conversions happen. The conversions are what the business is looking for. The conversion is what your business is looking for. The conversion is what your customer is looking for. So the more the conversions, the more the customer be happy. The more the customer be happy, your campaign is a huge success. Some of the tips that you can think of implementing as far as your social media marketing campaign is concerned or plan is concerned, set marketing objectives. You need to set the marketing objectives intended for this particular business as far as your social media marketing plan is concerned. When you have the objectives in place, you will know exactly what is that you want to achieve. Then reach us on competition. The competitive research is an extremely an integral part of your social media marketing plan. You need to know who are the customers, who are the competitors, where they are located, what kind of business they are into, what kind of product they are selling, what is, the, what is their social media reach, where they are actually promoting their business, how many users they have, how many likes they have, what kind of content they are posting. All this information should be generated and looked into, analyzed before you plan your own social media marketing plan. Then listen first and be responsive. The more you listen to the customers or the users on social media, you will be in a much better position to respond to them. So response has to be quick and fast. 
don't delay the responses when users ask a particular question. Then the content segregation, the content has to be segregated in terms of the text content, in terms of infographics, in terms of the videos, in terms of the audios. All these have to be segregated and create a content calendar to make sure that you know you post them appropriately. Leverage insights. Of course, analytical information has to be thoroughly used and leveraged to understand the user behavior so that you can do continuous improvement as far as your social media marketing campaign is concerned. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is the basics, how to get started, then the plan and the tips. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.